11.30. Almost Christmas, darling. If that's a hint, you can drop it. You get your present at breakfast and not a minute before. Cheat. You know, Nick, I've been thinking. It's funny the way wine it popped up all of a sudden. Yes, wasn't it? You think there's anything behind it? Why should there be? I don't know. Just strikes me as funny, that's all. You're nearer than I am, darling. Hello? I'm speaking. Oh, hello, Dorothy. What? What? When? Oh, I see. Well, yes, of course. I'll be right there. What is it, darling? Darling, what is it? Julia Wolfe has just been murdered. You are listening to the story of The Thin Man from the stage of the Lux Radio Theatre on Hollywood Boulevard. Before we go on with the story of Nick and Nora, we ought to take you on a quick tour of Hollywood. The lobby of the Hotel Roosevelt, where stars and newcomers gather. A young actress, just breaking into pictures, is telling her friend of her success. Laura, here's one thing. I've got one of the best managers in Hollywood, and that means a lot. Oh, but the rules he's laid down for me... Jean! I... What do you mean, rules? Well, you'd think I was going into training for the Olympics. I've got to lose five pounds. I've got to take lessons in singing and diction. And of course, my complexion has got to be perfect. I've got to be more careful than ever not to get little blemishes or large pores. And something they call cosmetic skin. Thank goodness I use Lux regularly, the way everyone around here does. Nine out of ten beautiful Hollywood screen stars use Lux toilet soap. And... And have for years. Here's what the famous Claudette Colbert had to say. When I tell people how simple my complexion care is, they always seem surprised. I use cosmetics, of course, but I always use Lux toilet soap to guard against cosmetic skin. It's easy to keep skin lovely my way. And now, on with the show of The Thin Man. An hour has gone by since Nick heard about the murder of Julia Wolfe. In the living room of their suite at the hotel, Nick and Nora are listening to the radio. A news reporter is broadcasting the latest developments in the case. And here's the latest news of the Julia Wolfe murder. The police have found out that the beautiful blonde secretary was a gangster's girl and is spreading the dragnet from one Joe Morelli said to be hiding out somewhere in the city. In Paris today, the Chamber of Deputies... Never mind the Chamber of Deputies. Joe Morelli, that's what I want to know about. Well, did you get any more information out of headquarters? As much as they had. Julia Wolfe was shot and killed about 9 or 9.30. Body discovered on the floor of the living room a little after 11. Who discovered it? That'll surprise you. Mimi Wynette. Dorothy's mother? Yeah. What was she doing there? I don't know. Where's Clyde Wynette? Still missing. Missing? But Macaulay was going to see him. They had an appointment. I spoke to Macaulay. Wynette never showed up. Nobody knows where he is. It's going to be pretty rough on Dorothy, isn't it? Hmm? Why? It very nearly looks as if Clyde Wynette skipped one appointment to keep another with Julia Wolfe. You think he killed her? Oh, it's just a guess. Anyway, it sounds like an interesting case. Wouldn't you like to take it? I haven't the time. I'm much too busy seeing that you don't lose any of the money I married you for. <laughs> Sounds like a good case. Girl mysteriously murdered. They haven't found any clues yet. No gun, no fingerprints. I wonder if they've... I don't want to hear anything about it. Isn't that my drink? No. Uh, what were you drinking? Rye. Mm. Yep, that was yours. <laughs> That's Dorothy. She said she wanted to see me. Welcome in, Dorothy. Thank you. Is anyone here? Just Nora. Have a seat. Hello, Dorothy. I'm sorry for breaking in on you like this. That's all right. We're used to it. Anything wrong? Just... 
Julia Wolf is dead. Yes, we know that. Here's the gun she was shot with. What are you trying to tell me? That you did it? Yes. She kept me from seeing my father. I went down there to ask her where he was. She wouldn't tell me. I shot her. Where did you hit her? Why, in the heart. Pretty good shot you are. What did she do? She fell down. Did she make any sound? Didn't scream? Um, I, I don't know. Which way did she fall? Uh, um, she... she fell over backwards. Oh, yeah? People fall toward a shot, you know, not back from it. I knew you were lying. <laughs> Come on, now, straighten up. Where did you get this gun? I bought it in a pawn shop. I thought so. Why did you say you did it? Whom were you trying to shield? Oh, please don't ask me. You've got to tell me. Nick, let me handle this, will you? Dorothy, look at me. Nick is trying to help you. Why don't you help him? You were trying to shield your mother, weren't you? No. Your father then? Dorothy? Yes, my father. Why do you think he did it? Mother was the first one to find Julia Wolf. She found something in Julia's head and, and she took it. What was it? A watch chain. It, it belonged to my father. So you think your father did it? I don't know. I don't know. Did your mother turn the chain over to the police? No, she she kept it. She didn't tell them anything about it. But she showed it to you? Yes. Why did your mother go to Julia Wolf's apartment in the first place? She, she went to ask for money. Money again, huh? Yes. Oh, have them come up, please. Who is it? Dorothy, I wonder if you wouldn't mind waiting in the bedroom? Of course. It'll only be a minute. Well, Nick? It's Mimi Wynette. Alone? She's never alone. Dorothy's brother's with her, a scurry college kid, and uh, some guy by the name of Chris Jorgensen. Jorgensen? Who's he? Macaulay told me about him. Uh, Hanger on type. I think he's after Mimi's dough. But she hasn't any. Maybe that's why she wanted to get some from Julia. Hello. Nick, how are you? Fine. Come in, Mimi. Thank you. This is my son, Gilbert. And how are you? Very well, thank you. And this is Chris Jorgensen. He's an old friend of mine. How do you do? How do you do? Sit down, sit down. My wife. How do you do? Mrs. Winant, Gilbert Winant, Mr. Jorgensen. How do you do? Well, Mimi. Nick, I've never been in such a state in my life. You know, of course, that I was the one who found Julia Wolf. So we've heard. Oh, my dear, it was terrible. I walked in and there she was, lying dead on the floor. I meant to ask you, Mother, was there much blood? Gilbert, don't be so morbid. But I'm interested in murder. You know, Mr. Charles, I've formed a theory about this one already. That's so. In my opinion, the man who did it... Gilbert, be quiet. You don't know anything about it. Oh, but I do. Be quiet. You were saying, Mrs. Wynant? About finding Julia Wolfe? I was simply petrified. And such a mystery. Clyde Wynant's crazy. Absolutely crazy to stay away at a time like this. No wonder the police think he has something to do with it. What do you think? Oh, I know he didn't, but I wish I could find him. I have something very important to tell him. Macaulay won't help at all. He thinks I just want money. Well, don't you? Oh, Nick, you're always teasing. Mrs. Wynett, were you alone when you found Julia Wolf? Why, of course I was. Wasn't Mr. Jorgensen with you? I? Certainly not. I don't know anything about it. The first word I had that Julia Wolf was dead was when Mrs. Wynant called me at my club. Oh, she called you? Yes. Why? I beg your pardon? Oh, let's not even talk about it. The thing to do is to find Clyde. And that's why I've come for Nick. You will help me find Clyde, won't you? I'm afraid I can't, Mimi. Oh, Nick, please. Now, Mimi, there are a thousand detectives in New York. Hire one of them. But he knows you. All you have to do is get in touch with him and tell him that Mimi says everything is all right. But I've got to see him. I'll tell you again, I don't want any part of it. Is that final? Final. Well, if that's the way you feel... He'll turn up. You just help all you can. Give the police every possible assistance. What do you mean by that? Oh, no, nothing in particular. Oh, well, we'll say good night. Good night. Sorry I can't help you, Mimi.